The first step in success in raising baby crayfish is to raise their parents in the tank that you plan to raise the babies in. By doing so, you create a detritus layer at the bottom of the tank. This detritus contains a bunch of zoological life, a bunch of little tiny worms and other little critters that I'll show you in later videos that help sustain your baby crayfish through their first few crucial weeks of life. This is an incredible example of the zoological life that can form inside of a well-regulated environment in your aquarium. This zoological life is what's necessary to feed your baby crayfish, and without it, the mortality rate could be as high as 30 to 50 percent. Just noticed yesterday that there was baby crayfish all over inside of here. You can see another one right there, another one kind of guarding a little hole right there. So we're about two and a half weeks in. We've gotten past one of the most crucial points of raising these baby crayfish is the initial few weeks up to the first month. They have the hardest time surviving during that period because it's difficult for them to find food suitable for them to eat. And as you can tell, they've been doing very well inside of this aquarium. By the time I'm removing them from the aquarium, most of that life that you saw in the original shots a few weeks ago will have been depleted and turned into food for all these baby crayfish. You should be able to tell here that the detritus layer on this side is getting pretty low. Right here you've got a full layer of the detritus that was in the tank originally. And right there you see one of our little baby crayfish creating a nice dip in that detritus layer. And they're all over right now inside of the tank, eating their way down through all that detritus. And still there's no aggression towards each other. They're in a really high density. There's one right at the tip of my finger, right there. There's going to be another one. He's got a little hole sitting right there. And there's quite a few just behind him. There he is. You can see him coming out right there. They're just all over and they're slowly eating through this wall, taking all the little life and extra goodies that were left behind by their parents. Because this detritus layer was originally left behind by raising their parents up to full grown and then to breeding age, then removing them from the tank once she left behind all the young. See the little swimmerettes underneath his tail just kind of moving things around. See how deep he digs down into that material and starts just ripping through the wall. The little bulldozer. It's been one month now, folks, since we had our baby crayfish inside this tank, and you can see one barely there through the murk, making his way towards my little net. And that's that kind of dark shadow you see there. That's why the water's all murky. I'm kind of chasing them around today. One's right in front of the net right now. He's going to make them out there. Chasing those guys around and putting them in a new tank. Let me grab one out and I'll show you. Right there, you see one of our little babies I just took out of the main tank. I'm going to go ahead and put them out on top of the styrofoam so you'll get a brief look at how big they are. Pretty good size. Let me go ahead and make sure he gets his way back into the water there. There we go. So they've gotten about three quarters of an inch long in the first month of their life. And well, right now we're transferring them over into a new series of tanks I just put up. If I zoom in here, you can see now that our zoological life is still thriving. And this tank just supported uh, over a hundred crayfish. So right now we're just looking into the new tank that we just set up for our baby crayfish. You can see two of them. Right here. See how big they've gotten over the last month. So here's one of our little guys here. He's playing possum for me. You can tell they're about an inch long now. We're about a month and a half into raising them. They're getting really nice and big. I was just feeding the tank. Good and put them back in there. All right, there's even some bigger ones. That wasn't my biggest one. In fact, right now I can see one on the grass. If I zoom in here for you, you can see one right there. So I've just added a bunch of that material there. They really like that stuff. It gives them a lot of surface area inside of the tank so it can make a limited size tank much larger in its surface area, which is crucial to crayfish. 